Hello, this is Lisa Joy here. Welcome to my uh, tutorial on word problems on word, word problem 101. Now, I have a question for you. Do you like word problems? Because I don't. I absolutely hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them. I hate them with a passion. Sometimes it's hard to figure out what the hell they're asking sometimes. Now, do you like word problems? I bet you don't. That's why you're here watching this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. And I apologize in advance if I start uh, writing slanted down in this tutorial because uh, um, I don't have an easel to hold on the, bl the whiteboard here so I have to manually hold it. Now note that every word problem especially a percentage one when you're trying to calculate a percentage or how many out of something is something it starts out with something that I like to call what is quote unquote and quote unquote the word of notice the is and the of Now, notice that this is not your common formula. This is a formula I created a long time ago, back when I was in high school, to make my life easy for myself. And I also taught my classmates when I reached college who did not know how to dissect a word problem to identify the percentage uh, how to calculate percentages and how to identify how to break the problem down in an easy understanding way. Note we're going to write a problem on the board. We're just going to start out with something simple because every word problem at the end of it, no matter how long is it, I ask these questions. What is blank of blank? In this case, it's what is six of nine? Basically, when they're asking this, this is a percentage problem. They're asking you, what number is six of nine? Now notice the formula. It's pretty simple. And it's, yes, it is my own formula. I should patent it. Is over of equals x over a hundred. The x is a percentage number over a hundred. Just like you know over dollars or uh, speed or any type of thing. But notice the six, there's is, so here we're writing six. And noticing that we're putting the nine at the bottom in the denominator because it's of of. I apologize for the coughing in the background. We have a sick person in the background. Notice that I wrote equals x over 100. Now you have to cross multiply. How to cross multiply? You cross from the top to the bottom. Do 6 times 100. And that is 600. And now you got to cross multiply 9 times x, which equals 9x. So now we're going to write this out neatly. Thank you. 
So now it's equal to 600 equals 9x. We have to figure out what x is. So we have to, since 9 and x are multiplied, we have to now do the opposite is divide. And now we can divide by 9. What you do to one side of the equal sign, you have to do to the other. Notice I'm writing a dividing and 9. And I have identified that x is 66.66 infinity, approximately 66.67. So now we know that x is 66.67 to the infinity. And that is exactly what we were solving for. It was for x. It could be 66.67 dogs, cats, pickles, bananas, brains, chocolate bars, boyfriends. It could be uh, Linden dollars. It could be, uh, that could be cents for all we know. That could be a dollar amount for all we know. Now, problem two. I apologize in advance. I start writing a word problem and then I start to delete it. I had something else on my mind when I was writing this uh, problem before I erased it. We're going to keep it simple. So now we're going to be writing what is 20 of 45. Now notice the is is 20 and the of is 45. So I'm going to plug in our formula. Anytime you do a, pro a, a problem, always plug in the formula at the top so you keep yourself pretty organized. And as you see, x can either be your percentage, it could be a dollar amount, it could be um, how many out of something that you want to figure out. It could be a number of variables. So x is pretty much universal for lots of different applications. Now we're going to be plugging in the what is 20 of 45. The 20 is going to go on top because it's is. And the 45 is going to go on the bottom because it is of. And we plugged in equals x over 100. And now we're going to have to go in and cross multiply. 45 times x is 45x. And 20 times 100 is 2000. Now we have to separate x from 45. Since 45x is 45 times x, we have to do the opposite and divide. So we're going to divide by 45 on both sides. And as you can see, I'm dividing 45 by 2,000. I do long division so you guys can see what's going on here. Notice how I'm keeping everything lined up properly. I'm adding x to digits just for the sake of it. And I'm realizing it's going to be infinity 222222 at the end. So it's 42.2 infinity.
that is what x equals. So now it's either to be 42.222% or it could just be 42.22 dollars. It could be any, any type of variable. And now we can plug it in and see their direct proportions to be exactly perfect. That's what it basically plugs into. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this helps you out a lot. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys need any more tutorials or help anyway, don't forget to leave me a message. And there will be more math tutorials like this in the future. Thank you again for watching and have a good day.